Hi, um, my name is Haley Lavachek. Um, I'm recently starting a uh, vlog, blog, whatever, video, blog, so vlog, of um, my reviews on uh, the books that I read because I read a lot of books and so I decided to do a vlog on them because I've had people asking me, you know, you should write a review on that or I'd like to see your reviews on that um, and it's just... I don't know, sitting and writing, all I want to write is just, it's its way too time consuming. So, um, <clears throat> my uh, first uh, blog book that I'm going to do is um, for Jennifer Lynn, Bar oh, no, it's not Jennifer, Lynn. Jennifer, Jennifer L. Armand's, uh, Armand Trout. Um, otherwise known as Jalen. Um, she's recently turning all her stuff to her original name of Jennifer L. Armantrout. Um, but the book is Scorched. Um, I read everything on my nook. Um, it's probably going to come in invert. Yeah, it's, but it's Scorched. Um, I really, I don't know. I, I love Jennifer's books. I think she does a good job. Um, really good at writing. She comes up with some new things sometimes that, you know, don't really think about and the spins, you know, different. And I really like that. But, um, Scorched, it's the sequel, well, spinoff, um, but follow up to her first book, Frigid. I liked Frigid. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, kind of like how they set it up, you know, the drama and, you know, stuff that happened for those who have read it. Um, that was good. I would recommend it. Scorched. It's not a bad book. I mean, if you're if you're a fan of Jalen um, or Jennifer, um, it's not a bad book. That's not it. It's just it's not like one of those books that I'd be like dying to pick it up and reread it. Um, so you know, it's got her main characters um, who I don't know. I mean. The main guy that they're using, Brandon, um, he's kind of described as like, you know, like uber hottie. Um, and our main girl, I'm forgetting her name, Ugh. Andrea, Andrea, um, she's got red hair and he describes it as being, like, nice and curvy. She describes herself as having, like, you know, a tummy and, you know, you know, thighs that I think she said will never touch. She's got, like, big thighs, a big butt, a big chest. And, um, you know, she's supposed to be tall, like, really tall. But she's claiming her size to be, like, over a size I think, was it 10 or 12? I think it was over size 10. Um, so if you're getting, like, visual proportions in your head, I mean, the way she describes herself, it's not as being, like, you know, tall supermodel, which is fine. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of sometimes I always have trouble. I mean, because even he just describes her as being, like, curvaceous and that it's perfect, but... I don't know, some of the visual images that the author used uh, when going through Andrew's point of view to describe herself, if you're a girl and you've ever had this, you know, you're kind of like, oh, yeah, I totally see that. And so, I don't know, it just kind of made it hard in some parts to connect the, you know, uber sexy, you know, fully ripped, you know, hard body, gorgeous God with this girl who's kind of, you know, I mean, we can all dream, but... <laughs> I don't really see it. Um, but it's supposed to be that they kind of have this, like, love-hate relationship that they, you know, they're mm -hmm. friends because they're both best friends of the two characters in Frigid uh, who are now together. And uh, sorry if nobody had read that, but, I mean, I really saw it coming. It wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't like it was like a twist or turn if they wouldn't be together. Um, and so they have to do a lot of things together. And um, she kind of has, like, they kind of like this thing where they kind of, like, uh, antagonize each other. So, you know, they'll, like, start calling each other names and all this stuff and kind of fight but it's supposed to be underlying you know this 
you know, deep attraction that, you know, is kind of like, you know, um, but it's supposed to be that, um, she's going through a lot of stuff because she wants to change her major and her parents are doctors, her brother's a doctor and she was supposed to be a doctor and she wants to be a teacher. And so it's kind of like this whole big, um, thing that she's kind of worried about, you know, her parents are really well off and she's worried about being kind of like cut off and, um, yet at the same, you know, she kind of doesn't get school paid for right now anymore because she decided to be a teacher. So she kind of has, she has to pay for her loans, has to, you know, has to take out loans and then pay for them. So it's kind of that, um, the view that he, that Brandon gives Andrea is kind of like that, he thinks she's like a spoiled rich girl who does nothing all day and, you know, kind of, you know, as the book goes on, he gets to see more and more that, you know, she has her own issues and, you know, she handles a lot of things that he didn't think she would want to be a part of. So it's kind of all that stuff. Um, she's battling with some personal issues of her own. Um, if you've read the book, I'm going to have a separate section for a full review on what I think for people who've read the book. Um, but she's de battling with her, you know, kind of own things and, you know, and it's just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like the parts that it lead up to, they're supposed to be like big kind of weren't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, once again, they go to a cabin, um, but it's four of them, and, um, you know, uh, it's a different one because, obviously, from the events that happened in Frigid, uh, the two other main characters do not want to go back to the same cabin. Um, but they go to a cabin, and it's supposed to be really nice and really, you know, um, the two main characters decide to go off and do camping and all this stuff and kind of give them the house, um, you know, so they can kind of work through their issues. <laughs> um, so obviously a lot of stuff happens that, you know, is kind of hot and, you know, but other than that, it's, you know, you see she, the main character, she has some issues. Um, and she also has some issues with him, which, you know, she starts to describe and explain, and I don't know, from what what it is she's describing, the main thing that kind of puts her off about him, I don't know, I, I view it as kind of like, really, like, if it were real life, you'd be like, really, seriously? Okay, okay. Um, so another reason that it kind of like, I was just like, the book was just okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I will say, if you want a quick read, let me see real quick how many pages this is. On my Nook... Well, it says it goes up to 201, but, you know, it's less because you've got, you know, acknowledgments, contents, all this stuff. So, but, um, if you want a nice, I mean, I, I say quick read because for me, 200 pages is like, get it done in a few hours. It's quick read. Um, but, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, it's one of those predictable kind of go, you know, um, like I say, if you want a quick read, a nice quick read, I love Jennifer slash Jalen's books. So for me, you know, I I'd read them all. It doesn't matter. But it's a book, like I said, I would not rush to reread it. So for me, I would probably have to give this... I'm sorry. I mean, I know this is biased, but anything Jalen or Jennifer Lynn gets at least two stars. So this one I would have to give two and a half, maybe three. Um, but I'd, I'd settle on the two and a half. Um, like I say, uh, it's one of those that it has some nice scenes and, um, but it's not something I would rush, rush to reread. And, um, there are plenty of people who probably disagree with me, but, um, all right. Um, I will be going on now to a section. Um, if you want to read, it's titled part two, but part two is, I'm going to put it in the overhead from now on, is going to be my review for people who have read the book. 
Okay, so it's got a lot of spoilers, says a lot of stuff, gives a lot of stuff of the book away. If you're somebody who likes a review like that and you don't care, go ahead. For people who've read the book, this is a good shot. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. From the maddening mind of Haley B. See you guys later.